All right, today I'm going to go over how to use the Alpha magnetic loop antenna. This is the 4080 model, and I've got it set up already. I'm not going to go over setup. So I'm on JT frequency, and I'm going to spin this knob here. And I'm going to look for the loudest um, place where that knob is, and it'll, it'll get really loud, and then it'll become quiet pretty quickly. So, as I turn... See how the S meter jumps up? So I'm going to find the peak there. So there's about the peak. Now I'm going to switch to um, AM or CW. I'll do AM. And on AM, I'm going to go ahead and key up and look for the SWR. And it looks like we're at two to one, which really, for SWR, two to one isn't really all that bad. But I think we can do better, so we're going to try. So we're going to just turn it. No, it looks like two to one is about the best we're going to get, which means that uh, we could probably adjust the antenna a little bit. <coughs> I have the antenna actually kind of down, so I'm going to raise it. It's got a, a stand with different sections that raise. So we're just going to lift it up. And then I've got to lock it in place. It's unfortunately only about two hands, so I'm going to have to now. So now I've got it raised up, and we'll go ahead and try this SWR again. So we're still at the 2 1 mark. Maybe a tad higher. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can adjust it just a tad more. And no, we're not doing it. So, let me uh, adjust it. Try 40. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm already on 40. I'm going to try 80 and, and come off of 40. Alright, so I'm on 80 meters, and I just about got it tuned in by audio. So I'll key up, and it looks like we're at 2 to 1. I'm going to hand here, maybe I can get a better shot of this. So, let's see. There we go. Less than 2 to 1. There's a lot of factors in tuning this, which include proximity to the antenna and all this other stuff so um, as you see when you put your hand near it you affect the signal just by being near it so I'm gonna adjust the antenna just a bit more adjustments I've got the antenna to less than two to one and I'm gonna go with that so there's the uh, signal link USB I provide a cable for the connect systems or the uh, CS108 and, and it's also the same cable for the X108, which is a Chinese branded version. So, and there's a picture of a dog while we're waiting in the garden. Okay, so we have uh, JTX set up, WSJTX, in the FTA mode, it's a pretty rapid mode. We've got the antenna tuned for 80 meters. And there's the beautiful alpha loop antenna. And there's a beautiful sunset in the background. And we'll go ahead and start transmitting. And we're transmitting. And as you see, we're less than 2 to 1 on the SWR. Uh, our power is set to 5 watts. And we should feel the radiation passing through us. I'm sure we're beaming it right through. I'm only going to call CQ because I don't know who I've worked out here. I don't have my logs hooked up. So I'll just continue to call CQ over and over again until I get some sort of result. 
three stations here in us so far. I'll go ahead and switch to only 80 meters. It'll give us a better representation of what's going on. As you can see, there's, there's three or four stations that heard me. And there's not that many stations actually ready for 80 meters. Band conditions are always important. Looks like 80 is in good shape. Looks like we got someone coming in. We're not really strong enough to decode them yet. But we're going to try here in a minute. We must have figured out where we're at. And as you can see, our map has grown quite a bit. And it's coming through. We got a 14 W8 LMG. That's probably Michigan um, or Ohio. I'm guessing the 8 zone could be anywhere in the 8 areas. So we'll look them up in a minute here. I was wrong. It was a West Virginia contact. And he said 7 foot. Beautiful. It's a very weak signal. It may not decode. But I'm hopeful. It did. So NVO. Plus it gives us a better view of the alpha loop there. Um, hard to show you exactly how tall it is. Not that it's 8 foot up. I am a 6 foot tall person. And let's just see if we can do a selfie with it. So there's the uh, meg loop behind me. Um, right there, so, so there it is. I really can't do a very good selfie for me this way, but let's try it. So, there's me standing next to it. So it's about two feet taller than I am. Again, I'm a very tall person. So, uh, it doesn't have to be that tall for 20, but for the 80 mode, you need the antenna to be kind of high. That pretty much sums up the uh, Alpha Meg loop, loop antenna digital modes on 80 meters. I could operate all night and show you probably 20, 30 contacts the night, which I have no doubt that this antenna would get. It's, it's a very good antenna, a, especially for a Meg loop. I, I don't have much experience with Meg loops, but I mean, it's small. It's not like the wired eye pole that I have. I mean, if you look up in the trees here, I've got a wired eye pole that uh, hangs off the house, goes to this tree, then it. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's all over the place. So, um, it's off of that end over there. I mean, I, I, that dipole is huge, and this uh, alpha antenna is not. It's pretty small, very portable, and I recommend it. I love it. I was wrapping this up and the, uh, another contact came through, K2JB, and I almost missed it because I was busy taking pictures of the antenna, and uh, I just thought I'd grab this real quick and just, just show you. This setup's a, a perfect setup. You need yourself a uh, signal link from Tigertronics, a uh, laptop. You'll want the Connect Systems CS108G+. Plus. And you want a uh, alpha loop, alpha magnetic loop antenna, and then you too can sit in your backyard and operate digital.